Welcome back to the vlog. I just landed in Eugene, Oregon. I'm about an hour away from where I need to be. Practice sessions at 5 p.m. It's currently 3.37, so I should probably leave soon. And uh, yeah, another weekend, another regional. We're gonna add something to this regional. I've been asked this a lot lately. People wanna know how the budgeting works for just bowling in general. So for the vlogs moving forward, I'm gonna try to involve uh, the cost of bowling, expenses, net returns, and all that stuff. We'll get into the financials a little bit just to give you guys an idea of how much it costs to be a professional bowler. All right, let's go. to the bowling center. For a minute there, I thought this bowling alley was in the middle of nowhere. Turns out this town is just in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> it was about a 50 minute drive. I stopped and got McDonald's on the way. Got practice at five and prime at seven. And then the next two days we bought at 8 a.m. So I'm not super excited about that, but that should help me get acclimated to Ohio a little bit better because I've been staying up Super late, DJ hours, playing Valorant. After this, I'm going straight to Ohio. Not straight, but I'll go back to Vegas for a day and then go to Ohio and uh, shoot some content with Mikey and hopefully defend the 10K title. But anyways, we gotta stay here, stay present, and try to win this regional one shot at a time. going to be the first regional I've ever pulled dual pattern on. Our first lock of six is going to be on Viper, I think, and the second on Mark Ross. So 12 games of qualifying, and then match play is going to be one on each lane. So I'm excited for that. I'm even more excited because the same ball looks good on both patterns. You'll never guess. The black ball. we got a couple of other options. we got Aspect, Zen, Hydro Pro, all look really good. They hook pretty early here so the asymmetric pieces don't look fantastic. I did bring the dark coat. Um, I'll probably throw that later in the Pro-Am, but it might see some, some play later in the tournament. If they get super tight, there's a big puddle in the middle. It might be good, blend out the wet dry. Uh, just finished practice, probably gonna get some food, and then we got Pro-Am at seven o'clock.
All right, cool. Pro Am done. It's not terribly late, nine o'clock. We had a 300 game one with the dark code. It was eight pin no tap, but I think eight of them were real. It was a pretty solid game still. And uh, the last game I bowled with a guy that shot 900 for the three, so that was pretty cool. We're gonna go check into the hotel. Before we do that, we're gonna go get some drinks and supplies from the grocery store, and then we'll head out and go to the hotel. This is a nice room. Quite nice. Better be nice for 120 a night. And that was the PBA discount. Anyways, so like I said earlier in the video, I was gonna run down expenses for you guys because some people were interested in um, how to budget for these events. So this particular one, like I said, hotel, 119 a night, but there's two of us, so $120 from my end. Rental car was $128.86, which you know, about 130 bucks. I spent $35.25 in food today. Entry fee is a reduced entry fee for this event at $185. So all that combined is $486.10. I'm gonna give you a hypothetical flight price, which if I were to book a flight for next weekend at this time, so we can advance, it would be $256.20. So that's a total of $724.30 so far. I got $20 for bowling the Pro-Am, so we're currently sitting at about $700 to bowl this tournament, which means we would have to finish in about the top five to break even or make money. And that's not even including spending more money on food the next two days, so take into account seven. So it's pretty close to $800 from Vegas to Eugene, Oregon as a member. As a non member, you'd be pretty close to $850 in expenses. Uh, that being said, I hope you're pretty well off if you plan on well, uh, bowling some regionals for the experience. I come to bowl these for reps and to win, so I'm not really thinking too much about the money. Plus my lowest finish this year is sixth, so if I finish six, fifth or sixth again, I'm breaking even. That's how our, our budget so far will give you the full breakdown on how much we end up making or losing at the end of the trip in, it would be the third vlog this weekend. Gotta get up super early tomorrow, we bowl it's 8, 8 a.m.? We gotta bowl, gotta be at the bowling center by 7.30, so probably getting up at 6.30. Uh, we'll see you in the morning for some qualifying action on two different patterns, two six game blocks, and hopefully we finish one too. Yeah! Bye!